They'll be holding a shovel. They want to dig again. It's not a good idea. You know what works. I honestly believe this country's best days can still be ahead. But you know, we get into the future by changing, by thinking, by doing. So if people are just mad and they want to hear somebody vent, we're in trouble. If people say, oh, I'm too disillusioned to go vote, they might as well be voting for the other side. And if people say, by the way, they're concerned about government spending, just say that so far President Obama and the Congress, they're pikers compared to what went on before. They managed to double the debt of the country while we had economic growth. He appointed a bipartisan commission to balance the budget chaired by one of the co-chairs was Erskine Bowles, my former chief of staff, who's just retired as president of the University of North Carolina. It's not like we don't care about the deficit. The last time you had a balanced budget, you had a Democratic president, and 90% of the work was done by a Democratic Congress in 1993. We, have, we know this is important, but you've got to do this in the right order. And my view is this. Again, I know something about this economic situation. A year and a half just wasn't enough time to get us out of the hole we were in. So I want you to stick with us. Give us two more years. Two more years, you have no election. If you think we failed, you can throw us all out. But for goodness <laughs> sakes, don't go back to the shovel brigade. We have stopped digging. We don't need to start digging again. <laughs> so that's what I want you to say to other people. I'm telling you. I met Kendrick Meek when he was a very young man. We've had a lot of interesting times together. He's told some of them in this election. I've seen him grow as a person and as a public servant. I saw him come to terms with being a congressman. I saw him sit there and look at other people and look at what was being done and figure out how to get things done. I saw him spend two or three or four times as much time doing as he did talking. And that's what America needs, that's what Florida needs. The last thing I want to say is this. I spend most of my time now in really poor places in the world. And when I leave you, I'm going down to Haiti to spend another two days there working on the rebuilding of Haiti. Kendrick was one of the leaders in passing a bill in Congress for us to buy more products from Haiti instead of from Asia, and I believe it will lead to $300 million in investment there and thousands and thousands and thousands of Haitians getting jobs. We'll be a good neighbor and we'll be a more popular neighbor as a result of it. And don't forget, that's important because a senator has to see to the national security and the national image of the United States. This guy's my friend. And I do love him, and I guess you can discount everything I say, but I'm telling you, you look at my eyes, I believe everything I've told you today. He will be a great senator, and he can't get there without your help, but with your help, they can't stop him from getting there. So start with the primary and take